Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Bill Skarsgård, Pennywise. <laughs> wow, did you know he can really do that with his <laughs> eye? Yeah. What's up, dude? What's going on today? Blu-ray hunting. I like that. It's been a while? I was going through the channel. Yeah? I think the last one we did was in California. Ah. Uh, Just b besides, uh, like, a Black Friday thing. That yeah. was the last time we went out and did some Blu-ray hunting. Just freestyling. Freestyle Blu-ray hunting. <laughs> what were we just talking about before we got on camera? Oh, PewDiePie's Big Adventure. 35th anniversary screening. Ooh. Coming to Phoenix, but forty dollars plus ticket fees. Paul, what are you doing, my dude? Yeah, I mean, you get the film and then you get like a Q and A and you tell stories at the end. There's also a VIP package, two of them, two fifty to meet him and get a picture, Ugh. and like four fifty to mingle with him. I <sighs> mingle his dingle. Yeah, I love the film. I love the food. It can't. <laughs> What can we do? Better to sentence. Seems awfully expensive. I don't know. I've got to think about that one. Yeah, I. It'd be fun even to just see him. It would. But how many times have you seen the movie? Right, it's like forty dollars just to see. You're going to see Paul Rubens, you know. <clears throat> right. Or I could just go home, pop the Blu-ray in, and see him all the time. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> got some stuff here that I want to trade in, including this piece of shit. Hey, I like that movie. I think well, that was a recommendation for me to you. It was. Usually your recommendations are good, but the well, best part... Well, here's the thing with that movie. Yeah. It's not a good movie. No. I just like it. Okay. I like the Halloween. The best vibe. part is the ending. Yes. Can we admit, though, the, everyone in that movie is annoying as shit. They yeah. all are annoying. Yeah, and then I looked up that one girl. Yeah, she's like a YouTuber. One girl guy, whatever. She's trans YouTuber. Yeah, and I just... You heard Wikipedia pages like they them. <laughs> I, so I, I like the I like the the Halloween vibe. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Yes, and then this bad boy, who, this bad boy is coming to Criterion. Oh yeah, I bought that the day it came out at Walmart. Oh really? Yep. You like it? Yeah, it's the only time it's been in my Blu-ray player that same night. <laughs> Shit. Well, how about the news that uh, the Irishman and Marriage Story are coming to the Criterion? Yes. Um, I'll buy the Irishman for sure, even though you can stream it on Netflix. But I want the total, you know, complete treatment. So there are people that are putting up like, like uh, copies of it on eBay, just like ripped copies. <laughs> hey, I'll buy it. Classic Marty uh, gangster film, Criterion treatment. Bertie bots every flavored beans. Alas, semen. Michael J. Fox, cinematography. We're on our way now to Best Buy. Don't expect much luck from there because their section's dwindling down a bit, but we'll see. We, we've picked up a few things from the 599 bin. We're doing this uh, night style. This reminds me of a uh, drive. No, <laughs> no, something better. Uh, Crazy Jason, you know, one of the original <laughs> Kakalaki movies. Those guys are some of the kick-ass originators of the movie hunting. Shout out to those guys. I thought you would have said a good movie or something. No, those guys are great though. Back up to 25. Got this for eight bucks on Black Friday. Still haven't watched it. You know, Probably I told you will. I really enjoyed that the first time. Less so the next time yeah it's not much to it it's I mean, fun it's a visual spectacle but this one Shaun of the Dead I'm more of a Wachowski sisters guy <laughs> what is that You guys see Bad Boys for Life yet? If you did, I don't care. 
Whoa. Look at that hair. <laughs> Jackie Chan, the woman or the male? Jacqueline Chan. And here's Seth in his natural habitat, alone without any friends. <laughs> you know, there's a reason that we're struggling with the media section. I mean, a lot of that stuff you can get on Amazon for the same price, if not cheaper. And the selection's just not that great. Got some stuff from Fallout. We did, finally. Scored something. Uh, a lot of good prices in there. Most of the Blu-rays are $4, so. There's like some special ones that are a little more, but some good prices. On to the big one. On to the beast. Hi, I'm Seth, and I buy Dave Matthews Blu-rays. <laughs> and to see ya, we go. This takes me back. One of the first few guys I ever bought. Sold it immediately. <laughs> Tim Robbins. And Shitty move. <laughs> having some trouble? Yeah. I don't want to buy anything here. I want Jane Silent Bob, but a little, a little too pricey for me. One dollar more than everywhere else. Who's got any Paul Anka? Who is that? I couldn't even flip through the vinyl of this one. shit their pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, what a song. Do you know what this is from? Donnie Darko? <laughs> Donnie serious? Darko? You fool, it's from Super Mario 64. Oh, is it? Yeah. You don't like it? I do. Just, I never had an N64 as a Sony guy. <laughs> like, see, this is why this film was genius, the way it was marketed. It's like an entire book playing into the lore and like, you know, information about notes that the characters wrote and all that stuff. I mean, this was the, the king of viral marketing. Sick. Great film. You are a stunning vision. You are the most beautiful cat I've ever seen. You don't have one of those weird cat looking faces. <laughs> so we went to a few places Best Buy, Zia, Fallout Games. I did not Holy have. Holy shit! <laughs> I did not have a very successful Blu ray hunting experience, but you win some, you lose some. I did buy a couple things, um, both from Fallout Games. Most of the regular Blu-rays are $4. The first one I picked up is the Seven Year Itch. Ooh, she's gonna give me an itch. Yeah, I've never seen it. Cat, what the frick? I've never seen this movie, but I'm starting to get into some of these older like Marilyn Monroe films and come on, I mean, Marilyn. Oh, that's the one where her skirt blows up. Yes, iconic, you know, you can see it on the back. So for $4, I thought it'd be a, uh, you know, good pickup and then, uh, I got a music Blu-ray. I don't know why. I just felt like buying it. Seven dollars. This is uh, live at Radio City Music Hall. With Dave Matthews. I'm a fan of like, you know, the music Blu-rays. I know a lot of people don't buy them or aren't into them, but I think it's fun with a nice system or headphones or whatever to just kind of mellow out, you know. Maybe with some substances or whatever and watch a, hey, <laughs> you know, nice concert film. It's kind of like being there, so. Yeah, seven bucks, why not? Two pickups from Fallout Games. All right, so I ended up getting a bunch of stuff because I have no self-control uh, and this is what makes me happy in my life. <laughs> so I ended up getting a Blu-ray from Fallout Games, which was a documentary about Australian skateboarders, which seemed kind of interesting. Left it in the car, so you guys don't care anyway. But uh, I had a bunch of stuff to trade in at uh, Zia. Believe it or not, this shit right here, free. All free. 
Well, not really because you bought the Blu-rays that you traded <clears throat> in. So technically, but yeah, it was free for today. today for yeah. today, it was free. So uh, I got a bunch of like low-priced ones here, buried with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, one of my greatest fears is claustrophobia, <laughs> so this seems like it'll be a fun watch. Fuck that shit. Let's see some Van Wilder. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Let's see some titties. <laughs> uh, this next one here, The Proposition, uh, with Guy Pierce. It's like a western. That seems pretty good. Directed by John Hilco. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what that's all about. Only $3 is one of those low-priced ones, so I gave it a whirl. Don Hemingway with Jude Law. Kind of becoming a little bit of a fan of Jude Law lately. He's starting to get out of his shtick of rom-coms and stuff. And this is our Dumbledore now. Yikes. <laughs> so for $4, figured I'd check this one out. And it's got Amelia Clark. Mm. <clears throat> terrible camel work there on my part. I know. He doesn't know what a focus is. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, next one here I got for $2, Stoker. It is directed by Park Chan... What? Stroker. <laughs> hey, Mia Wasikowska makes me do that. Mm -hmm. uh, directed by Park Chan Wook, who's done some Asian stuff. Is that about Bram Stoker? No, it's. I think this is Death of Her Father. Her charismatic uncle comes to live, and he's like a weirdo. Um, so uh, I've seen this one so many places, I figured I'd finally check it out for two bucks. Oh... Man, the man, Orson Welles, Touch of Evil. This is nice. A, a nice set. I don't know if this is the one that's usually super expensive. It's got a nice booklet, three versions of the film. This is one that's got that uh, big time, one time shot at the very beginning. You done yet, Cat? Sit the fuck down. So I uh, love Orson. Uh, Citizen Kane is. Citizen Kane is. Uh, Probably an M word, if not close. Just say it. It is. <laughs> Citizen Kane yeah. is an M word. Are you it's kidding me? M it's an M word. <laughs> so uh, I'm always uh, uh, happy to see his weight fluctuation <laughs> throughout his career. So I think this is uh, Skinny Orson. It's Check no, it out. It's no wonder Orson Welles ate his fat ass to death. <laughs> I remember hearing that in that movie and not understanding yeah, it. Yeah, same. So I'm, I'm happy I do now. <clears throat> this next one is crazy to me. Uh, we were just. Going through all the Blu-rays, and uh, this wasn't even in the Blu-ray section. It was with a bunch of DVDs. The Daniel Craig Bond Collection on 4K. Killer deal. Not for $30.99. For $17.99. Yeah, it, I don't know. That's crazy to me. Something seemed a little off about that, uh, but I checked inside. Both still have the codes. Hopefully they haven't been redeemed. So essentially, I could get this one for almost nothing. Even if they have, though, it's still a great deal. Yeah, it's still a fantastic deal, so I was very happy to get this. Really enjoy Bond, uh, especially his films. They're good. And, uh, yeah, that's what I picked up. Cool pickups, buddy. <laughs> Close it out, buddy. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's another Blu-ray hunting in the books. Nick and I were talking. We'd like to do this more often, you know. Even if we just hit up the regular spots, there's always new stuff at Zia and, you know, maybe incorporate some pawn shops and stuff, so... Let us know down below what you think of our pickups. We appreciate you guys watching. See ya.